Hi guys, it's Miss Faith. Today we're going to be doing another sea creature craft, and this week's craft is an eel. Now, if you don't really know much about eels, they're very long creatures. They almost look like snakes, but they're actually classified as fish, and they live in the ocean, and they like to live in crevices and rocks and little caves and burrow under the sand because they're small and really long. So they can fit in little tiny places. Now this eel craft is pretty cool because it's kind of like an accordion. He gets longer and smaller. And it's not that hard to make. You just have to cut out a few shapes to make this guy. So you can make him in any color you want. Um, a lot of eels are green or black or darker colors, but you can make your eel whatever color you want. I'm going to use this green piece of paper to make mine. And to start out, we're going to make the body of the eel. So this part that will enable him to get bigger and smaller, that's what we're gonna make first. Now you can cut this part out as big as you want it to. However big you make this shape is going to determine how big your eel is. So you can make a really big eel or a smaller eel, it's up to you. But you're just going to cut um, kind of a long rectangle from your piece of paper. So I'm just gonna cut straight across. doesn't have to be perfect. And this is the strip of paper that I'm going to use to make my eel. So you should, you know, you can make yours about this size, but if it's a bit bigger or a bit smaller, if it's fatter or thinner, it doesn't matter. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold it all the way down like an accordion. How you do that is you fold it one way in a bit, then fold flip it over and fold it over again. So you're just folding the paper opposite ways all the way down. Now you're doing that by folding it and flipping it and folding it and flipping it and doing that until you get to the very end. And that's the main part of your eel. That's the coolest part. So now, once we're done with that, we're going to make the head. And to make the head, you're gonna take whatever piece of paper you want. I'm gonna use the same color green that I used to make this. And I'm just going to line this paper up with the end so that it's the same length. And I'm just going to make a little line here. You can see so that it's the same length as this paper. And then I'm just gonna make a curve shape. Just like that. So that my eel's head will be curved. And I'm gonna cut that out And then since I um, use some black to draw this, there's still some showing. So I'm just going to use this side as the front of the eel. And then I'm just going to glue it right here. flattened out some of the fold, so I'm just gonna scrunch it up one more time. Then next, 
I'm going to make a little tail for my eel. So to do that, you just have to draw whatever shape of a tail you want. You can make it as big or as small as you want it to be. I'm just going to go out and kind of curve it and then go back in. And that's the shape that I'm going to make for my tail, but you can make whatever shape you want. And then I'm going to glue that right to the end. Just like that. Oops, my tail's a little bit crooked. There we go. And then the only other piece of paper that I have to cut out is going to be this little fin right here. Oh, and also the eyeball. <laughs> so I'm going to cut my little fin out of a slightly different color green, just so that it stands out a bit, but you can do whatever color you want. And I'm just gonna draw a little shape like that for my fin. If you've been doing a lot of the sea creature crafts this summer, you'll probably be pretty good at drawing and cutting out a fin by now. Okay. And then to make it a little bit easier to glue, I'm going to make a fold in my fin, just like that, you can see. And then I'm going to glue it right like this. See how I went to a part of the body that folds upwards? And I'm just gonna glue it right there, like that, so that little tab's on there. I'm gonna put a good amount of glue on here and then with that little tab I'm just gonna glue it right there and then I'm gonna press it down make sure that it stays really well and that way your thing kind of sticks out a little bit All right, so now I'm going to cut out a circle out of white paper to make the eye for my eel, but if you don't want to do that, you can just draw your eye on. It's up to you. So I'm just gonna cut out a circle. I've gotten pretty good at cutting out circles without drawing them because I've been making a lot of eyes for all the craft projects we've been doing here. But if you guys need to draw your circle before you're cutting it out, that makes a lot of sense. So before I glue it, I'm going to make a black circle in the middle so that it looks a bit more like an eye. and then put some glue on the back to glue it down. And now, all I have to do really is any decorating that I wanna do for my eel. So, I'm going to actually cut out the mouth. As you can see on this guy, I cut it out. If you wanna draw the mouth, you can do that too. You don't have to cut it if you don't want to. But to cut the mouth, I'm just gonna almost cut a little triangle. Just 
just like that. If you'd like to draw it first before you cut it out, you can do that. Or like I said, if you don't want to cut it, you can just draw a little smile there. So now I'm going to decorate my eel. I think I'm going to start by putting some dots on him. I'm going to put some dots on his body along here. It's okay if you have to flatten out the body while you're coloring it. You can always fold it back up later. And then I'm gonna make some lines oops, on these fins. And then when I've done all the decorating that I wanna do on my eel, I can just fold him back up real quick so that he's nice and springy. And then he's all done. And the other cool thing about these eels is that they stand all by themselves. So as always, if you guys make your own little eel or you've made any of the sea creature crafts, you can make sure to take a picture and email it to me. I miss you guys. I hope you're all having a really good summer. And I will see you back here again next week. Bye.